This video will introduce you to the Veracut user interface and the basics of running a Veracut simulation. Here we have a Veracut project open with the project tree displayed. The features in the project tree provide the tools required to set up all job-specific data. The VMC has been configured, the job-specific data is already set up, and now we can process the NC program. This Veracut project has been saved with two views displayed. A machine view, which displays the CNC machine and material removal on the workpiece, and a workpiece view, which shows the fixture, stock, and material removal that occurs. The view cube shows on the active view and tracks the rotation of that view. The cube itself uses the faces, edges, and corners as hotspots, which allow you to quickly adjust your machine or workpiece view. The views can also be manipulated by using the dynamic mouse controls to rotate, zoom, and pan. When you rotate, the view cube will update and vice versa. Through the use of dockable panels, you can personalize the Veracut desktop to match the process by which you use Veracut's many features, as well as incorporating your own personal preferences. The status window and HUD provide specific status information about the simulation, as well as a view of the NC program. Both can be customized to convey the information you want to see. We simply select the play button and Veracut will process and simulate your NC program. Veracut provides error, warning, and informational messages to assist you during a simulation. These messages are displayed in the message area called the Veracut Logger. We can speed up the simulation or slow it down to better see what is occurring on the CNC machine. And that's it. For more information on the features shown here, see the Veracut Help. Or for a step-by-step -step training session, see the Veracut Welcome screen.